this session deals with the predicate logic like uh, it is an enhanced version of your proportional logic uh, not all the statement can be expressed in terms of your proportional logic like when you want to mention it universally regarding a certain fact or something uh, we are not able to uh, in, like we are not able to logically represent that uh, terms in terms of your uh, predicate logic so we are uh, proportional logic so we are moving to this predicate logic so predicate logic is also said to be a first order logic so uh, like here we have an additional universal quantifier along with the predicate logic statements so predicate logic also said to be as first order logic along with all the predicates here uh, all your proportional logic statements we are going to include two universal quantifiers so one is called for all for all x when i am just universally expressing for all x like when i see uh, if x is a student all students scores mark or all the school students are graded or something like this okay and there is another quantifier called that exist that exist x like when i'm saying like uh, like in a class there is a rank holder so in a class if that that exist a rank holder so rank holder might be that exist okay so this is called an universal quantifier and expressing this along with your proportional logic statement is called your predicate logic statement so we'll see some examples so that you'll understand it better so first statement is every student is younger than some instructor okay so here this is a statement so first step in uh, writing this predicate logic statement is identifying all the predicates predicates are nothing but like when i am mentioning about any of the uh, terms then that like when i say uh, any noun or any verb that will come as a predicate like uh, all birds can fly so here bird is a predicate and fly is a predicate so here student is a predicate younger is a predicate and instructor is a predicate so first step in writing any of the logical statement into predicate or logic is to find all possible predicates and the next step is once you are able to find the predicate now along with the predicates you uh, you express your predicate term like i can say when it is s of x it means x, x is a student and instructor i can have i of x means instructor x is an instructor okay now anger is a predicate that is going to mention about two of the variables okay so i can give it as y of x comma y it means that x is younger than y okay so this is called an unary predicate predicate with a single variable and this is called a binary predicate predicate with two variables you can have unary predicates based on it okay now i uh, like shall we construct a predicate logic statement for this given statement so it says that for every student so for every students means like for all x if x is a student x is a student is given as s of x and what you are going to say for every student every student is younger than some instructor so there exists a instructor who is younger than the student okay it is some instructor so when it is for few what predicate what quantifier we are going to use there exists a y and this y is a instructor instructor of y and he is younger okay who is younger x is younger than y okay so this is how we write a statement in a predicate logic okay so here it says that for all x if x is a student then there exists a y y is a instructor and x is younger than y okay so this is how we write a predicate logic statement i'll give one more example let's take the next example as not all birds can fly okay so here the predicates are bird is a predicate and fly is a predicate and here leave this not 
first will construct a predicate logic statement for all birds can fly and you can use it in the reverse of it we can negate negotiate the instruction okay now mention the predicates like i can have b of x so x is a bird and f of x x can fly so these two are the predicates now i'm going to mention the statement as for all x if x is a bird then x can fly so if then else statement can be written using your implies if x is a student then x can fly and it says that not all birds can fly so not all in the sense negotiate the uh, like the a predicate logic statement okay so this is how we write a statement like i'll give one more example every child is younger than its mother okay this is one example where uh, i'll show you it in two different ways of writing it so first find the predicates child mother anger okay i can write the statement as c of x is x is child x is a child and m of x is x is a mother and y can be defined with two predicates okay so x comma y so x is younger than y okay so now rephrase the statement every child so for all child if there is a mother then mother is younger than so uh, younger than child okay so for every child is your predicate so for all x and if x is a child if x is a child then surely it has a mother and mother is younger than its child okay so here that can be given as for all y for all mother m of y mother uh, y is a mother and younger who is younger your child is younger than mother so this is how we write a statement okay so this statement can also be written as for all x instead of using two variables over here i can pass a function into it in, into instead of writing two different predicates i can pass a predicate as the argument over here so that can be written as for all x if x is a child then younger function x is younger than mother of x is that clear for all x if x is a child then there is an anger term x is younger than mother of x so this is called an ary function one ary function okay similarly you can have call any number of functions and based on that you can increase it as two ary three ary you know okay so this is all about your predicate logic statement like whenever a statement is given to you you have to identify all possible predicates and you have to find a way to represent that okay we have to find a way into to put all the connectives together okay thank you